Hey guys, welcome back to Beard Canics Garage for another covering of Slammed UK event. So, uh, which was moved to James Ward at the last minute. So, I don't know if there is all the car here, but let's crack on anyway. Golfer, unlikely bag. Yes, there's a lovely K bar as well from a racing line. <laughs> Next to that, we've got a golf. Series from some killers. You'll see a sticker like that on my turn. Maker, obviously. <laughs> well, that one, you know it. Project D. And eight got the donor car for it, so. You should see it on our channel again very soon. And look at this. Very nice. But now I have to put a bigger sticker on my car. <laughs> A3 S line. With more uh, air fresheners than uh, Black Forest because the air fresheners are trees. And this we've got one which you've seen before that is lovely but I covered in time lapse last time. So this time we are not in time lapse but I absolutely adore that 260Z. That's the tag. Oh, that is just such a Gorgeous car. Lovely interior. And what I really love last time is drive safe for them with a picture of the cats. Love those bucket seats. That's seats like that I want in the Corvette. This is gorgeous as well. If you remember last time, this is our best plate winner. And she also own BJZ 6969. That is lovely. Oh, our shape wheel. I didn't remember that from last time. Oh, that's the tag for this one here. But yeah, those old Civics are gorgeous. And she has another one too. Little Suzuki Swift, I think. Shift UK, you can go follow there. It builds on that. All blacked out, big wing. Sunshade. Oh, bumper too. 
next to a Subaru BRZ, as you can tell by the plate as well, my 66 BRZ. And all of those went for wheels the same color as the Subarus. You can follow this one here. I do love those, they look quite good. Next to that we have a little three-door Corsa. Next to that, a Ford Fiesta. Splitter I need, little halo. Little tree, we can follow this one here. Project K. Oh, and a sleeper crew official rep. We like sleeper crew. Good club, lovely people. And we move on to another fold. ST line Color logo Next to Jaguar Which I don't know my Jaguar so I don't know what model it is but The Edward XES All People Edition. Shh. Next to this little, well, little, it's a mini, so obviously it cannot be big. Baby Yoda! Next to a Polo, I think. Nice. BMW wheels, lower. Can follow this one here. Tell the memorial here. Next to Fabia Viares. Follow this one here. <laughs> one for Fiesta, we've seen it every slam, I believe. Yes, there we go, follow the tag. For Fiesta, I don't think anything done to it, no tag either. Let's move on to this little Seat. You don't see the little one like that. It's uh, I think it's essentially the up, but the uh, Seat version of it. Next to that, you've got gorgeous Mini, which you can follow here. So this is lovely. Love the color on that. White body, lip. Ah, it's really a stunning mini. Well, it has really done. Spark for bucket seat. Even the seats are kind of like greenish a little bit, or I don't know if it uses a tint, but that is lovely. Ah, look at that lovely exhaust as well. Really nice touch. Next to that you've got another Skoda Fabia Blackout logo And I think that's pretty much it Next to that you've got another Mini John Cooper Works Pretty stock I think
next one is a one. Yeah, so uh, after it's a couple of I've heard, so all the games are just, 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 all the and you can go follow it here. Oh, look, your favorite is your fiesta. You're right, mate. Right? Hey, Good, you? Yeah, not bad. Second time. Can't strike the sexy pose. Let's check that out. <laughs> Link in the description, as always. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, it's a lovely splitter on there. And canard. Next to that we put for this court unit. Little eyelid. Deep color on the wheels. The lonely mountain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just have to put good stickers on and job done, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are the XR we've seen before. I think we've seen it at Slam UK as well. Bola wheels on that. You can follow this one there. Those are ones we've seen before. I love that. And I love those wheels. Those are really nice, they're so good. Follow it here if you haven't followed it in our previous episode visit. Yeah. Next to that, we've got a Mandatory MX5. Mac 2, splitters, wheels, top tail, you can see everything. Next to that, you've got a Mazda 3. I love those. Don't see them too much. This one, if you believe the stickers on the side, which I'll show you in a minute, should be pretty damn fast. That is a sexy mess, that one. And here, that's what I mean. Those number attack rate, quarter mile in 9.2, as pretty damn fast. Oh, and I didn't notice last time. Little heart shape exit. On the Antigua, always a lovely sight. What's going on there though? What is again GTI? Stock, I would say. And so considering the plate might have been a Ford ST before. That's a Mazda 5, I think it's the new one that are like SUV type thing. I had the older MVP Mazda 5 as family car, and they're actually pretty decent. No idea what those ones are like. And next to that, you've got a Renault Clio RS line. You've got the car making some noise over there.
Oh, that's more like it. Work in progress, as we can see. Pipe seat, white bodied. Very nice. Next to this S5. This Vans Von Vosen wheel. Never seen them before. Little on lip on the bonnet. On the bonnet, on the trunk. A Krapovic exhaust. This one got the bonnet open. Oh, there you go, so probably tuned as well. Big fat ass filter. Next to that, we've got an ODTT Quattro, which I believe is a stock car. And behind that, we've got a Toyota Celica. That I can now tape because people are out of the car. I try to not point the camera if people are still in the car. Lovely S Max. Quite a splinter on that. Splitter even. Not a splinter. Splinter will be painful. Toyota 86. A little bit of a fender bender. Wheels on that. Go follow. Renault Clio. Road legal, but very much a track car. Little hole in here, supercharged. It's one hell of a wastegate, isn't it? Uh, blow a valve, isn't it? Yeah. A bit serious. As you can see from the inside, there's a scoop there that actually works. Full cage, completely stripped. Means even the dash is made perfect. And look at that gear stick. We are wondering whether it is sequential or not. Either way, looks really cool. And it does see track time. It's not just for looks. I bet that goes. Next to that, we've got a bagged S3. Big exhaust. That follow it there. Big wheels on that. Apart from being bad, I think it's pretty much stuck. Well, is that on the exhaust on the wheel? But... For Fiesta. Splitter. Mark on there, lovely 15 to win. Over oh, there, we've got a mini Cooper S that looks on the top. Yes. Next to Skoda Fabia. Bit of kit on that. Stock wheels. We do have a tack though. If you can go follow him. Next up, we've got this rather flashy bagged Corsa. A lot of effort went into that one. Multiform wheel. 
back to cross out and use the tag tool. And you can see the lovely setup in here. Lovely corbeau bucket seat. Green stickers. Go follow it there. It's an extension of the top. Next to that, we've got a fiesta. There. Nice sticker there. Must be color roof and mirror. I love that bicolor team though, it's quite nice. Next to that you've got a slammed caddy. Sorry, Mike. That's all right, mate. Wrapped as well, obviously, as you can see. But quite silo. And the tag is, is the lowest caddy. Next to that, you've got the BMW SUV, M Sport, M Exhaust, Carbon Accent. Next to that, you've got the Clio Renault Sport in black. I do like those. My car is empty at the rear, half cage. That you've got an old Vauxhall Nova. Uh, Nova, not Nora. <laughs> look at those nice wheels. There's a lovely patina on them. I want to look at the trip. On the other side, we've got a Lamborghini. Not all of them, but some of them. An old one from Touch, isn't it? I love this one. Not black matte, I think it's black satin. Nice big wing on that. one of those uh, websites where you uh, buy ticket to win cars. Obviously, they, may, they win a lot more than uh, people who win cars. <laughs> Another Lambo next to it. Same from the seven days guys as well. Next to 
NPC venant de Rodefort. Et c'est gorgeous. Oh! See, suspension like that? That's when I'm going to have Rob build for the Corvette. TRS, they are lovely. Mercedes CLK 270. Vous êtes le transit courrier. Mm. Ooh, lovely Saab 98. Always love those. That's a wagon as well. Nice. You could get the twin turbo one. Wait, little good car. For transit, t'as cassé? Vauxhall VXR again. Oh, so. Yep. The little P shooter. Carbon accents. Stock wheels. Look, the red interior. Carbon accents continue. Next is this Ford. ST. No tag, but at the registration plate is a tag. If it is, you'll find it in the top right corner of Focus RS. Always love those. Nearly bought one. It was either that or the S3. And ended with the S3. And to be honest, not disappointed. My S3 is quicker, but this manual, isn't it? So it would have been nice as well. I do miss having a manual. All my cars are automatics. That. Type 3, EP3 Type R, I mean, not Type 3. Stock, the Jaguar bus. All the blood on the road. Police doing God knows what over there. Skyline GTR, which we've seen before too. I recognize the registration plate. If I take the standard, obviously. Ah, yes. C223. Seen at the Royal Crew Meet. And another one, I think. Lovely car. They're sort of smiling, so they're probably in, in good spirit. Anyway, let's continue our tour. It's a lovely classic Ford Mustang. So clean. Very chrome. 
Oh, look at that inside as well. Oh, look at the cute little doggy in there. That's the best part of the car. Cute little dog. Next to a Camaro SS. Lovely in orange like that on striped. Very chrome too. S3 saloon bags, splitter, canards. Follow that one here. Another one we've seen before. Lovely Vauxhall Astra, very low. The body GTR. You've seen before too, I think. Massive exhaust, carbon pits, carbon boots, well integrated white body, carbon fiber skirts, vents, bonnet. That you've got Lamborghini Gallardo, I think. And you follow it there. White bodies. Lovely vents at the rear. No, quite a small exhaust on that. Normally they are huge on those. And here we have another one. Quite a few lined up here. Little scoop on the roof. Another one here. And yet another one. Oh, yeah. Subaru lineup. TTS. With a lovely red interior. Black Polpar Black Tout Wheels Stop looking Next to this Ford Focus ST Screen Wheels Game over, but that's the Rivo so it's probably a Rivo tune, you would expect so. Another Toyota 86 with build done, 
Really sexy wheel mix. Big wing on that. XPZ 370Z. Isn't that the one from uh, Sleeper Crew UK event, I think? 275 at the rear. Lovely wheels. Ah, it's not opening to the tires. But yeah, I think it is the same one. I'll have to recheck the footage. But lovely. Next to that, we've got a little A1 splitters, kind of low, little slot driving. You can follow this one here. Next to that is an all Triumph Speedfire with hardtop. Bit passed around, but you know, it's an oldies, lovely. Gorgeous. And next to that, we've got a Fiesta with removable wheel. No seat at the rear, just about. Next to that, we've got a Jaguar. Next to that, we've got an R8. Alright, OEM, oh, yeah, so maybe it's all stock. Oh, it very much look like it. Volkswagen EOS. Volkswagen EOS. Flat out 10 light. Corbo seat. Very nice. It makes me look OEM plus rather than a uh, proper aftermarket. Here we've got Aid. And here we've got a little Abart. Blue stock here. They're quite nice stock though, to be fair. I do love an Abart. Well, like the micro, like my love for micros, a lot of people don't get why I love about. Ah, Chris ST2, you've seen his uh, ST before. Go follow if you still are not following. Beautiful chaser. Lovely in that color, but again, it's a bit like uh, some cars, they look good in any colors. Nice wings, big fat wing, shut up nose. Oh, look at the sexy exhaust as well. I like the tint on it as well, because well with the brown of the paint job. Next to that, we've got convertible M4 with carbon accents. And that is about it. Three series convertible. Lower the bit. ST in black, very nice. Set skirts as well. Splitter at the front. Bonnet. Next 
to that we've got I think that's a Serie 3 as well but all the lovely yeah. and they're boxed up like that nice and square lovely plain wheel that's gorgeous nice on here nice on there yeah 369 Oh now it's less busy, you can look at that Audi TT as well. Audi racing wheels. Yeah, intake system and all that. More than likely tuned as well. TT RS. They are lovely as well. Yeah, yeah. Stage 2. If you believe the sticker at the rear. Well, I and go follow it, it there. I didn't buy it from a dad. Because that boy is an It's an old fashioned plate, kind of cool. I wish I could still keep my small plate on my car, but the police said no. Follow it there. So they are cool units. Quite different, you don't see those a lot. Next to a Ford Fiesta. With wheels, turn. Half a cage, so you can have bucket seats on the harness. That we've got another Beamer 6, another 3 series. <laughs> Might be wrong because I don't know my Beamers, but. <laughs> Next to an A45 is a green accent, which you can follow here. Oh, okay. That was a bad one. Why would you put on the inside? Carbon wheels as well. Oh, not carbon wheels. Carbon style cover. Yeah, I had them as well. Do you remember the old Cosi with the sidestrike? Of course. In fact, that's what it was. If I remember right, I thought you were from that. BMW coming in. Nice touch with a sticker there. Next to this bag, Volkswagen Golf. Little addition at the rear. Little addition here. A lovely fitment. GTI, low, nice plate as well. And yeah, we've got a BM. Wheels down on that. Little accent, that is a 375i. And here yeah, we've got another A1. Civic EP3. I'm dancing. This is a type R. Golf convertible coming in. Ah, we know this one. Little Pima next to it. Trekking Zoto. Go check it out. Another BMW, another 3 Series. The XR coming in. I'm going to move around. Let's go check out that 
A45. Splitter at the front, size skirt. The plate is starting to grow a bit at the front. Nice and low. You can follow it here. Custom spoiler as well with an extension. And a little extension at the rear as well. A lovely Sylvia. This massive exhaust, the plate to go with the car. You can follow this one in. And that is the wheels. Oh. I'd like it to be sorted a bit. It's annoying sometimes when it happens when the joint go. Another MX5 MK2 again. We haven't seen an MK1 today yet. Our one should be ready for the next slam, but I think for the next slam will be somewhere else. Oh, it's a nice baggage carrier on that. <laughs> yeah, we've got a flat fiesta. Pretty pretty there. Lovely views on that. Side skirt. Painted indicators. Speeder at the front. Nice and clean. Another A45. Dirty. I don't feel too bad about my car now. Let's look rather stock than an Astra GSI with a big wing. Stripped on the inside, yes. Bucket seat. Oh, lovely windows. That's what I want on the Corvette and the S3 eventually. Proper legit. Thanks. Thanks for this. Bonus Sport Megan. It's done. Stripped again. Sparkle seat. Ah, nice. Bars at the back. Ah, here we've got a golf we've seen before. Remember BMX? The rack at the top. No BMX today. Power swings. And you can follow this one there. Next to that, we've got a Citroën Saxo. Steel wheels, lovely. Just a very clean, well, a clean enough for its age. Black mat Sirocco. Roti from wheel. Go follow it there. Carbon accent. Yes, blue valve and wastegate. Everyone likes it. Did you want to upgrade the box? Ah, they come with it, but yeah, I just. You stripped that joy. Carbon accent. Next to the BMW. Next to Golf R32. I believe it's just stock, but if you go to R32, you know, it's cool already. Anyway, <laughs> next 
tu as tu vas te fort de fiesta To an A3S line. Again, I think this one all stock. Two liter turbo. Shift OK, and you can make them shift a lot more. A little polo, as you can tell by the registration plate. All the racing wheels. Bigger splitter, the Vauxhall Extra VXR with Bola wheels. Bit of driving over there. Next to another one, front splitters, wheel, nerf bearing step. You can follow this one here. It is next to the uh, S3. This is the, one, the old one, so you can easily tell it's an S because of the silver mirrors. And obviously, at the rear from that. I do love those. Porsche wheels on that as well. You know me, I love my tiny cars. This is ultimate tiny. And one that makes me think of a Viking views. Because the boss got a... Well, it's probably going to correct me. It's probably not the same year as boss man, but... This one is lovely. Love them with the patina as well. If it's old, keep the patina, guys. Sometimes it's. I don't know. I like them used, you know. I appreciate the effort putting into full. Oh, that's cool as well. Into a full restoration, but I don't know. As a personal style, I do like them rusty. And is that. Yes, it is. A very, very famous character. Next to that, we've got an Audi TT. Next to that, we've got an A1. Racing wheels you can go follow it here. Nicely done. Aventuri sticker, so probably Aventuri intake. Oh, S1, sorry. Ooh, a Litchfield tune. Very nice. Sitting next to another one. How is it just? Yeah, no, that is the S1 as well. Quad pipes. Oh, the racing wheel as well, side skirts. I'm guessing tune too. Next to that, a couple of about. One in red. Just waiting for those gentlemen to take a picture before I go around it. I see his red accents everywhere. Stock looking, but I reckon exhaust is done and likely tuned. 595 competition. Look at those exhausts for Ronabart. Lovely. Little addition at the wing. 
little something at the front. I have no idea what those for are for. It sounds like a wind deflector, but does it help anything? Let us know. Next to that is S5, I believe. V6 turbo. Yeah, S5. That is very much on the BMW Strat 6 still, not an LS3. Vauxhall Zafira SRI. So you could actually get some that ripped, and this one is one of them. Lovely done. I love that kind of like brownish with the orange. Lovely contrast. I was actually tempted by one of them when I used to only buy seven seaters for the family. Because I thought, ooh, this is a seven seater, I could rip in. Ooh. Very nice. So, like your um, safety as well. Yeah, thank you. That's gorgeous. That's one sexy sub. Yeah, so, Malik, just do it. A3 8P. One point nine liter TDI. Can follow it there. Next to a Vectra, two point two liter. Stickers. SRI as well. I don't need done on that. Workshop day for this one. And then 
One, two, three, BMW. Next another one, three series. Pretty sure it's stop this one. And then the four series. You can follow the four series there. Or whoever owns it. And here is a bag the Ford Fiesta we've seen before. First met at uh, the Denied UK Meet. 2.5 kilowatts on system as well, I think, in there, as you can see. Bagged. Next to that, we've got a Golf convertible. These lovely colored wheels that need a bit of a freshen up, maybe. Crackle from the A45. An S triple six friend, but uh, the teacher made me crazy last night. Teacher made me crazy last night. The teacher made me crazy last night. Everybody's done with this TT so we can have a look ourselves. Lovely livery, bagged, debadged. There we go, that's the polo. Probably the loudest thing here, but it doesn't like to show off in general. And what I like about it is like it's Dutch, so run down, proper slipper. Because it's bloody quick. And it's bloody loud. And I think that's it. I don't think. Yeah, I think that's all of the cars, you know. And that's it for today, guys. Just following uh, Project D back to Colchester. We are going to take a few pictures for uh, little project.
project visa, project lead that uh, we are going to do soon.